first thing we're going to do is measure out a little bit of copper sulfate. About one and a half grams. Next, we're going to measure out a little bit of water as well. This is going to make the basis of our copper sulfate solution. About 10 milliliters is fine. Now we mix up the solution. For this experiment, we really only need one milliliter of the copper sulfate. The next step is measuring out 30 mils of hydrogen peroxide. Now let's measure out the next solvent for our tartaric acid solution. About 100 milliliters. As you can imagine, for the source of tartaric acid, I'm using cream of tartar, an OTC source. Now let's measure it out. This isn't really a very sensitive reaction. The point is to get the color change across in a lively manner. Now let's dissolve the tartaric acid into our water. There we go, now it's done. So now we're going to heat up this solution to 50 degrees Celsius and then add the hydrogen peroxide and the copper sulfate. Okay, now that it's at temperature, we can add the hydrogen peroxide. As you can see, our copper sulfate is a nice light blue. This is what we want so that it's at a high enough concentration to turn into our cuprous oxide. Now let's take a milliliter of it and add it to our solution. It's about good. Now watch the blue color of the copper sulfate. As you can see, it's faded to a green, and it's quickly turning yellower. Now it's a darkish green. And I turned it back to blue with some more hydrogen peroxide. There we go, back to green as it's reduced the copper one oxide. When I mean reduced, I mean the copper sulfate is reduced. Oh, there we go. Back to blue. So you can repeat this until... I actually don't know. You could probably repeat this a lot of times. Uh, that was a quick, nice video on color changes. I really like copper salts. I just wanted to say I'm really thankful for all the support that I've gotten recently. Uh, gaining two subscribers? No, no, no. I think I gained, like, I believe Rick told me that from the beginning of the year, we actually had 
around 30 subs, so we've gained 50 in 6 months, and that's like an astonishing growth rate, man. Woo. It's been uh, over a year since we started our channel, that's a cool fact, and I'm uploading a video tomorrow on all the explosives that I've tried to make that have failed, so I'd love if you could explain to me why they haven't worked, because I thought I've followed the preparations quite exactly, but I guess not. 